Our group, which now consists of three riders from Philly and a Belgian couple, rides south. The mountain scenery is breathtaking, but the narrow blind corners and steep drop-offs challenge what Rule likes to call my awareness of heights. This is a two-way road, believe it or not. Rule and I usually ride by ourselves, so traveling with five additional people is a nice new experience. Here you are, taking care of each other. One has this to fix something, one has something else. One runs out of money, the other one pays it. It's just great. And it's fun to have others to laugh with when conditions are less than optimal. Nothing like staying at a hotel and cruise, nine out of ten, cooking on your camp stove. With the guys from Philly, we ride into another remote area where the poverty reminds us to be grateful for the simple things. Some of these houses are nothing more than mud and a few woven mats that are strung together and latched on. Though barren and dusty, this area is considered a highlight of Peru. We're following the river right now to Canyon del Pato. It's one of Peru's most famous motorcycling roads because of lots of steep drop-offs and tunnels right through the mountain. Our ride continues up into the mountains where it begins to rain and the temperature plummets. We're at 14,000 feet right now and as you can see it's getting a little bit dark. So we've stopped and we found this perfect structure to set up camp in. It'll block the wind for us and keep us a little bit warmer tonight. We set up tents and make dinner under a makeshift shelter. Just before we go to bed, the clouds open up and we get a spectacular view of the mountains surrounding us. Reporting from Peru's Cordillera Blanca, I'm Azure O'Neill for SNN, the Suncoast News Network.